Right, let's do this. The White Rose Industrial Physics Academy, or RIPA, is a core partnership between the University Physics Departments of York and Sheffield. We also have associative partners of Hull, Nottingham and Leeds. The primary aim of RIPA is to enhance the industry-relevant skills of physics graduates, and we do this through various activities, such as final year undergraduate industry projects, or by supporting students through summer internships and year in industry placements. You should do a summer internship as it enables you to develop a wide variety of professional and transferable skills such as adaptability, team playing, communicating effectively and commercial awareness. Employers are also keen to know whether you can apply your physics knowledge to meet a particular business need and so in this respect by doing a summer internship you will enhance your employability. So start applying for summer internships at the beginning of your degree and don't leave it until the end. Right at the start of first year was never in my mind because start of uni, new experience. We did a lot of careers advice, career discussion on why you should get an internship early. It's kind of your penultimate year that you want to be doing a placement. So as a BSc student, that was between my summers of second and third year. One of the lecturers who's really hot on careers told us from the off, start looking at internships now try and get on it as early as possible because if it does take a long time then at least you're on it early and you've got time to sort of choose other options. If you're a BSc student then often you will take a summer internship at the end of your second year and if you're an MPhys student well on balance you're more than likely to do an internship at the end of the second year or at the end of the third year. It's worth bearing in mind, however, that an increasing number of companies are now looking to recruit first years to do the summer internship programmes. Finding a summer internship can be a daunting prospect, so I'm here to help you identify placement internship opportunities. I can also signpost you to other members of staff and other support structures within the university, and I can also link you directly with the employers who are interested in physics students. I signed up to careers career service newsletters and they'd send me through an email whenever they got a new internship through. If you go on any of the recruitment sites, they're on there. Um, I went to the careers fair, I spoke to them both there as well. Google, without sounding too obvious, I think be careful with your Google searches, so don't be too specific. You know, for example, third year astrophysics undergrad research opportunity perhaps is a bit too precise. Because physics is quite a general degree. Um, there's all sorts of places you can go. So I started looking sort of engineering the technology side of things because that's what I'm interested in. Uh, looking on all sorts of job websites. I made myself a LinkedIn account. And once you've got contacts, you can always ask them. So professors here that work abroad, people are supportive, don't be afraid to you know, ask. It was my uncle that suggested this company because he uh, knows one of the project directors involved. So I was in contact with an engineer at Airbus who I knew uh, through one of my family friends. I originally uh, brought up uh, several times with my uh, supervisor. He um, specifically told me about the central laser facility because he does quite a lot of research there. If you work with someone when you were at school, see what they're doing now and see if they've got any opportunities. There are a variety of ways in which you can identify summer internship opportunities. So you can look on uh, employer websites, you can speak with staff at the Central Career Service and you can also contact academic members of staff within, within a department. But as importantly, you should also consider contacting people within your family circle or your social network. To apply for a summer internship, you must have a tailored CV and you must have a tailored covering letter that is specific to the role within the organisation. A generic CV or covering letter will not be adequate. Once you understand what an employer looks for, writing the tailored CV and writing the tailored covering letter becomes easier. It pretty much was tailor-made to the internship. I would pointed out every single point they were looking for in their application, what they wanted from the applicant. It was tweaked for each one, so some were more hardware based, so I focused on the electronics we've done in labs, some were more uh, programming based, so I focused on the programming we've done in... If the company said, I'm looking for X, Y and Z, the first things you want to say after your education on your CV are, you know, I'm good at X because of this time I demonstrated this. So they're reading through hundreds of CVs, they just want to see that skill, tick it off, okay, interview. The career service offer a, a service when they'll check over your CV. Um, that was invaluable. They, they helped me tailor it. 
very well. There are so many embarrassing mistakes in it. Riper can help you put everything together from the CV to the covering letter to other aspects of the application process. But really, the best advice and the best tips come from our students. Within physics, you've got to look around for opportunities and if at first you think, OK, I'm not qualified, be willing to take something that's not exactly what you want to do but might give you an appropriate skill set. The key thing for me is that don't be afraid to contact people through uh, the company website. They're always looking for people to send them emails and if you're proactive in trying to get a particular placement then you're more likely to proceed because you think, oh, this guy was really, really keen in doing this. So I kept telling myself, oh, I'm competing against the country so I'm not surprised I didn't get an internship. It was just a case of keep tweaking the CV, keep looking for internships and keep trying to tweak the... Uh, the personal statement. Put yourself out there. That's what I did and I got rewards. It's not always going to come off. Uh, you, A lot of the time they might not reply to you even, uh, but just keep doing it and something will come up. Don't be scared to look abroad. I found hundreds more interesting things abroad. Companies continue looking for internships right through to about March or April and then maybe even after that if they haven't filled their spots. I would say that any experience is a good experience. It's almost having the name on my CV is good because it can mean when I apply for new things, I can say, OK, I'm not just saying that I'm good at these skills. I've got a placement that evidences the skills that I'm claiming. Whatever you choose to do with your physics degree, gaining work experience in industry is valuable. This is because work experience gives you professional and technical skills and these are applicable to a variety of career paths. Riper can help you gain these experiences, so to get started, here are our contact details.